Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you're new to my channel, and welcome to A Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new to my channel, my name is Allie. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Okay, so for today's video, I have a collab with my beautiful, sweet friend, Raquel, off of Instagram and YouTube. So what we decided to do today was we picked out five of our favorite products, all drugstore products, or affordable, and we decided that we were going to try out each other's top five current favorite products and so with that being said let's go ahead and get into some skin prep i decided to just go ahead and throw in like some new products like stuff that i got in my ipsy and just a few other knickknacks and so really just stuff that i got in my ipsy so we're gonna go ahead and try that out so today for primer what i'm gonna go ahead and do is you know, I don't know. So what I'm gonna take is my Dr. Brandt Illuminizer Primer. This is the Pores No More Illuminizer Primer. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with about that much. I'm not sure how much to go in with yet since it is my first time using this one. I don't know, can you guys, did, did it illuminate? I'm not sure. It doesn't feel that hydrating though, so I'm going to take a little bit of my Touch and Soul Glossy, 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 glossy Skin Balm, just a little bit, and apply that to some of my drier areas, which is really just like my cheeks, just in case. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my Urban Decay Optical Illusion. If you're wondering why I'm making sure that I have so much hydration, is because you see... My girl Raquel, she's a little bit more oily. Me, I'm a bit more dry. So our foundations, I would actually, like our foundation favorites would actually be quite opposite of each other. So I'm making sure I'm super hydrated because the foundation that she chose is a little bit more on the matte side. So for extra precaution, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Photo Focus 3-in-1 Primer Water. Okay, so for the first product that Raquel actually mentioned, that was her favorite product, is this Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade. And I ended, ended up picking mine out in the shade Deep Brown, and it did come with a little brush. And that's the brush that we're going to use today, is right here. So you guys know the first thing I like to do is actually outline my brows and then fill them in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm just going to be using my LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil and I have this one in the shade Blackest Brown. First before I start, can you guys see a difference in my brows already? I feel like they are getting a little bit thicker already and I've only been using that Lash and Brow Builder Serum since Friday. Today is to Wednesday. Wow, this week is going by fast. So now we are gonna go ahead and go in with the pomade. And like I said, this brush is a little bit more on the thicker side. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I love the brush that actually comes with the Milani pomade. Like I ended up loving that one. So I thought I'd give this one a chance since, you know, why not? And I think this one actually, this pomade actually costs a little bit more than the Milani one. Ooh. Okay, I can definitely see why she likes that because I didn't even get that much on my brush and I've already finished like <laughs> filling in the tail and that color actually is perfect for me. I like that brow pomade. <laughs> I really like this brow pomade. Like this, and when I say I did not use that much, like you can tell that I was barely dabbing my brush into that. So, yo girl is not mad about that. I like that, I like that a lot. So what I wanna do real quick is, you guys see I have some of these darker spots. I'm gonna go ahead and take this Pretty Vulgar concealer and I just wanna cover 
some of those up. And we're just gonna allow that to sit there for a minute while we prime our eyelids. And to prime our eyelids, I am actually going to take my Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer and I have mine in the shade Light Natural. And we're just gonna prime our lids with that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and blend that out with a little concealer brush. Now we are gonna go ahead and apply some of our little e.l.f. eye tapes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that same brush and just stipple out the color correcting. Now, her for her second thing that she said was her favorite, she said Ace Butte eyeshadows. I'm not sure exactly which eyeshadow palette or exactly is her favorite. I will ask her and I will put it down at the bottom of the screen, but the one that I have is the Scarlet Desk Palette and I actually borrowed this from my sister for this video. My sister Destiny, be sure to check out her channel. She actually has up a review on my her beauty sponge. So I actually don't have a shade in here to set down my lid. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my Halo Glow. And I'm just gonna take that same concealer brush and set down my lid. And I'm only doing this because this is what I do with all eyeshadows. So, I mean, you have to give them a fair shot. Obviously, if you know me, I'm drawn to the oranges because I love a good orange bronzy look. But today, I'm going to stick to these shades right here on this side, these more pinky mauve shades. So the first thing I'm gonna go in with is Lotus. And I'm gonna go ahead and start buffing that into my crease. That is a pretty shade. It's pigmented, but buildable. So you can, how can I say this? When you build it up, it can be pigmented, which is kind of perfect because I'd rather go in with a little bit and be able to build it up rather than go in with a little bit and then you have trouble building, uh, blending it out. So let's go ahead and do this other eye real fast. Okay, so yeah, I'm not mad at that. Like that's actually beautiful for a transition shade. So for the next shade, I'm gonna go ahead and take Bahamas. And I'm just gonna take that on my Moda Pro crease brush. And what I wanna do with this, tap off some of the excess, is start on the outer edge and just lightly put it right into my crease. Now that I have it directly in my crease, I'm gonna start doing some small circles just to make sure it's not a harsh line. I'm gonna go back in with the brush that we used Lotus on. I really gotta check my phone real quick to make sure that I'm still recording and delete some stuff so that way I make sure I don't stop recording. Okay, we are back and we shouldn't stop recording. Still going in with Bahama and just outer crease and direct, or outer V and directly into the crease. Small circles. So, now I am gonna go ahead and take Sangria and we're gonna kind of do the same exact thing. I feel like all of these are coming off a little, I mean, obviously they're purpley, but like I'm not getting the true, true shade that's in the palette. So I do want to go back in with that same dress that we, same brush that we used Sangria on and I'm going to go into Nocturnal just to get that outer edge, like the deep color that I'm looking for. Yeah, these come off way more, like, I don't know how to explain it. Cause they're not bad. It's not what I'm trying to say, but like, I don't, I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. I 
I guess I'm expecting them to have a little bit more brown in them and that's not what's happening. So I don't know, <laughs> but that works out perfectly, so. Go sit down and watch cartoons. I know, go sit down and watch cartoons. Okay, so that is what we are working with so far. I was gonna do a cut crease, but I'm not really feeling it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of Aurora right here. Yeah. We're not gonna wet it. We're gonna give it a fair shot first. And I'm gonna just start patting as if I had a cut, okay. Okay, so I'm not, let's try to wet that because, yeah. I'm not getting what I'm looking for. There we go. Still not as shimmery as I was looking for, but I mean, it's something. Might have to try to use my finger. Yeah, let's try the finger. So, I mean, it's not that good whenever you swatch it either. Oh, but it applies way better with the finger. So what I want to do to lighten up this inner part just a little bit, oh man. I'm going to take a little bit of Maui right here and just put that like on the inner part of my lid. Okay, we're just gonna go on because I'm not having fun with these. So I'm gonna go back in with Nocturnal and just start blending that edge. Going back in with a little bit of Bahamas. And then I'm gonna take a Lotus. So, my thoughts on the palette so far. Matte's good. Pigmented, bend pigmented, blendable, and they're easy to work with. These shimmers, I'm not too sure what's going on. But yeah, they're a little rough to work with. I noticed the more I scraped off the top layer, the better they worked. But I don't know, I de this is definitely something I'd have to keep playing with, use different primers with. But like I said, until my sister asks for this back, I'll try to play with it some more. But I don't know, them shimmers that I used, Maui and Aurora, they weren't my favorite. Not my favorite to work with. So now, okay, so the next thing I'm gonna go with, in with is my Araceli liner, and this one is in the, um, brown shade called coffee and i'm just gonna go ahead and do a wing i like this liner it's really easy to work with okay so time to take off the eye tapes not too shabby so for mascara i'm gonna do go ahead and do a quick coat of my tarte big ego mascara and then this is in the shade it doesn't have a shade name i guess they only have black in this so yeah so like i said one quick coat and what i'm gonna do for lashes is i'm gonna go ahead and take my lashes um from her beauty in the style heavenly mm. Okay, so lashes are on, but before we go on, I do want to put something underneath, just so that way it looks a little bit, oh, this lash keeps lifting. Just that way it looks a little bit more seamless underneath from the lash band and, you know, just applying. So I'm gonna take my LA Girl liner in, uh, I think this is just called brown. Yeah, it's just brown. I mean, obviously these lashes aren't meant to look natural, but it does just help everything just kind of. So the next thing I wanna do, which is Raquel's third favorite thing that I'm trying. I'm pretty sure I got more than five. I did one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm trying out six of her favorites, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go in with 
This was her favorite foundation, and that's why I said I'm making sure I'm super hydrated. And it is a Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. Like, if you guys saw my haul, I got mine in the shade number four, medium beige. And I'm only taking two pumps. And then something else, let me go wet this one more time. You guys, I'm having all the interruptions today. Okay, so to blend out my foundation, I will be trying a new sponge, and this is the Huda, Huda Beauty Basic B Beauty Sponge, I think it's called, flat edged or whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take the butt of that and just, we're just gonna go ahead and go for it. Wow, I haven't used this foundation since like 2016, 2017, because I realized I had dry skin and I wasn't, y'all, it, it's been a long journey for me to figure out what works with my skin and what doesn't and how to get certain things to work for my skin. But y'all, that coverage is good and the color I picked out was almost a spot on. I guess the bottle, because it has like that gradient black effect, it almost makes it look like it would be too dark for me, but you gotta look at the very bottom. So I'm the shade number four, medium beige. I'm usually always in the beiges. Cause so I think with my wet and wild dewy foundation, I have golden beige. Not mad at that finish at all, at all. I'm gonna take one more pump, maybe not even a full pump, but like half a pump. And I'm just gonna build that up in certain areas like this. Just like, you know, I don't know, I feel like this, Eyeshadow look calls for extra coverage. Builds up nicely. So I figured what better concealer, like what better, con what better concealer to go with this foundation than the Milani Conceal and Perfect. And you guys, I've been trying out this new method of putting on concealer that one of my sweet friends from Instagram showed me. So I'm just gonna take a tiny bit there and there. And then of course, down my nose. And I'm not gonna do my cupid bow. That was something I just decided I don't like. And that's all the concealer we're going to take. And we're just gonna go ahead and blend that out with a flat edge. And I'm not even gonna pull the concealer down. I'm gonna keep it very focused right underneath my eye. And this is just gonna help you, and I noticed it too, be super bright where you need it to be super bright, help cover up them dark circles and lift right there. And since you're using less product, it's going to help with not creasing as much. And I decided to stop highlighting my Cupid's bow because I feel like it can cause more of a gray cast right here. And it makes me look like I have a mustache and I don't like that. So I no longer highlight my Cupid's bow with concealer, I should say. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and go in and set everything down. And as I saw I'm going to be using Halo Glow Setting Powder. Sorry, y'all, my kids. Some days they're great when I'm filming and other days they're like today. Whoa, picked up, wow. This sponge picked up a ton of powder. Okay. Well, it's okay. Okay, so my skin and under eyes and everything is actually looking lovely. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and finish up this lower lash line really quick. And I'm actually going to mix my brown eyeliner with a little bit of that purple eyeliner. So I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the brown first. Okay, so now that we got the brown in our lid or on our lower lash line or in our wonder line, we're gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of that purple in. Today is going to be a great day to test these out just to see how long they last. So I didn't really get to see how long they lasted last time. And right now it's currently about to be noon. It's 11.54. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Tarte Big Ego Mascara and just start coating my lower lashes with that. Okay, so that we are officially done with the eyes, you guys. Officially done with the eyes. So now what we're going to do is... Her fourth favorite, I believe, her fourth favorite is for a bronzer is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I have mine in the shade of bronzer and I was actually happy that she kind of picked this out because obviously as you can see, I've hit pan and I had to force myself to stop using this. And since I forced myself to stop using this, I actually haven't used it in a while. So I'm super excited to get back into this bronzer because it actually is like my all time favorite bronzer. Like, look at that. Mm hmm It's 
gonna dab around the hairline so we don't mess it up. Then just go straight down right here to get that double chin. So for our lips and our nose, I'm just gonna take this smaller brush, same bronzer. Okay, so for blush, we're gonna go ahead and try out this Gigi Gorgeous blush that I got in my Ipsy. And I'm gonna take this brush right here and I'm gonna focus on the matte side. I believe that the matte side is called Pride. King Bison's in there telling King on, or telling on me to King because they both got spankings. I feel like I got a little bit more blush on this side, so we're just gonna build my left side up a little bit more. And now for her fifth favorite that she shared with me is the Makeup Revolution Soph X Highlighting Palette. And so for my I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my corner. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my inner corner and I'm going to mix these two shades right here. And then for my face, I'm gonna be risque and take this shade right here and highlight the cheeks and the rest. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, 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 ooh. You do not need a lot of this. I'm definitely going like this. Or I'm literally just going like this. I think I said definitely. Well, okay. So <laughs> let's go ahead and set our brows real quick, real quick with our Essence Brow, Make Me Brow in the shade brownie brows feeling these brows today all like okay <laughs> wipe this uh lip balm off so for lips i'm gonna go ahead and line up my lips with a sugar and spice by la girl So next, this is her, this is the last product that I have that's one of her favorites. And I'm always down to try new lipstick. So I have the Essence lipstick in the shade number three. This is her favorite shade. And this is called, and this lipstick, the shade is number three. This is nude. So that, yeah, I thought it would match that liner perfectly. Mm, it smells like candy. That is nude. This is nude. <laughs> Have corny jokes, whatever. Okay, going in with the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu. Let's add a little bit of pink back just to help this match the look a little bit. Slick all this hair back down. I don't understand how my hair gets messed up and I'm literally just sitting here. Anybody else have that struggle or is it just me? Okay, so last but not least, let's go ahead and curl. So we did go ahead and curl. And then last and final step is Hydra Matte Setting Mist. Oh, I should have told her this was one of my favorite products. Dang it. So <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and spray and set with this. Okay guys, so this is a completed look. Let me know what you guys think of everything that I came up with. I loved every single product that she recommended just about like my skin. Like, I look dang near poreless, you guys. The only thing that I have a gripe about, like I said, are only the shimmers in this palette. Only the shimmers. Like, it was starting to make my eyelids look flaky. Like, y'all, the struggle was real with the shimmers in this palette. And fun fact, if you didn't know, I make Raquel's favorite lashes from my brand are the Style Bold. So, but yeah. So, yeah, these are... Good eyeshadows. I just struggled with these two shimmers just a little bit. Not a lot, but 
now that everything's said and done and set in place they don't like my lids don't look as flaky as they were at first like they've definitely calmed like all the way down so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit my, that subscribe button and today i have one extra step for you go ahead and head over to raquel's channel click that subscribe button and watch her video so you can see what products i recommended for her to use so with that being said you guys i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.